Hey y'all, it's Taste Pink and I'm back to show you guys how I kind of customize and tailor my crochet wigs to fit my particular face shape. You know, I really love crochet wigs. I sell crochet wigs at trustitrust.com and for the month of April, I'm going to be slashing a ton of the prices and the signature Valentino crochet style is going to be available and for purchase for $65, sis, okay? This is a big month, y'all need to take advantage, okay? The girls are getting cute, mm-hmm, okay? But for this, you really only need like some small scissors. These are like mustache scissors, I think they're called. Super affordable, like less than like $9 at the beauty supply store. I highly recommend these versus craft scissors. You know, we wanna move on up. Even though this is just synthetic hair, I. I just, I don't know, the precision is just a little bit on, it's better, the pointed ends of the shears, it just works so much better. But I am also going to be having a little giveaway. I mean, sis, I'm gonna be giving away some Miel, some Miel exfoliating shampoo. This is, sis, okay? It smells amazing. And I'm gonna be giving away two wigs, one of which is the Boss Lady unit from the Sensational Curls Kinks and Co. So, um, so someone's gonna get this little girl right here in the color 430. Then I have like a gray kind of pixie wig, sis. It didn't work out for me. This is Mika by It's a Wig. And um, I have a ton of like, you know, hair on the side here that y'all can get into with some face masks some earrings so it's open for us only you guys know i like to do these little quick giveaways usa and canada we'll say so um definitely stay tuned to the end of the video for all of the details and read the description box and also be sure to subscribe join the family let me know when you subscribe so i can welcome you i love to have my new family members and then also turn your notifications on so you get a notification every time i post a new video give this video a thumbs up share with your homeboys and your homegirls because you never know who wants to slay and meet me in the comment section. I love kikiing with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the unit I made today and it's this beautiful kind of copper, kind of ginger color. This is SOM 350 and this is the Sensationals Jamaican Bounce. Woo! First, when you're trying on your custom crochet wig, you want to locate the back. So the back of the cap is typically where the largest comb is positioned. So I'm just going to plop this on my head. So, okay, this is how I'm looking. You can't, I can't really see, but this is how it looks. I recommend wearing a black wig cap if you can, cause it'll just blend so much better. The first thing you do is shake your hair. So you go from left to right. Because you want the curls to like fall naturally. So what I'm going to start doing is trimming in the very front. because I want to be able to see what I'm doing for the rest of the style. Okay. So I'm just trying to open up the area around my eyes. Okay. Oh, see, do I want it to really hang low? And so I'm going to gently kind of like fluff the ends so that the curls can really get in formation. 
And now I'm going to pull the hair and just trim, okay? I like huge hair, I think everyone knows that. So I'm only trimming away very little. And I'm always, you guys see I'm always trimming upward. Okay. That gives me that beautiful kind of circular, very round Afro look. And the reason I pull on the hair is because I wanna see the extreme length that it has and make sure that when these curls spring back, that is the true, like I know the true length of the curl and how it will lay. You wanna make sure that you're pulling the hair from the back towards the front so you can see how that hair in the back lays. And I'm gonna pull the hair and I'm literally cutting like half of an inch. I don't get scissor happy because once you cut it, it's gone, sis, it's gone, okay? And see, look at my face. So I like the curls very close, very tight around the face. So now I'm gonna cut down. Okay, I'm cutting down. Cutting down because I need to, a good sign for me is I need to be able to see that cheekbone structure come through. Okay? So whenever I'm away from my face, you guys see I'm trimming up. When I get close to my face, I'm trimming down. See, this one is a little too straight. Like it, there, there's no, it's not doing anything for me. I like to angle with my cheekbone, cut down. That's big energy, I just gave you. Oh, see, and see how, so see this versus this just hanging around my face. When I do the bangs, it's straight across. Straight across, and then come down on that angle coming down on that angle and trust me you are going to have to do this over and over to get comfortable if you would like to start with you know very affordable very cheap more inexpensive hair some dollar braiding hair make a crochet wig with you know dollar braiding hair and get real into it get some hair that's on clearance that's when you practice don't practice on hair that you really love until you have mastered the technique Okay, so the next thing that I want to do, because this is basically the way that I like it, I'm going to take this off and line up the left and right sides so that when I'm trimming, I'm trimming evenly. You guys see, you see how I'm coming in at the bottom? 